With Stonehenge out of commission, the landing operations are underway in the northern part of the mainland. In response, the Erujans have launched large numbers of cruise missiles against the ISAF landing forces. Our radar is unable to pick up these missiles that fly at ultra-low altitudes. Failure to destroy these missiles will put our troops in danger. Your mission is to shoot and destroy each and every cruise missile. Mobius 1, a wire from the Northern Landing Forces. We're depending on your efforts. Commence operation. Don't let any escape. Target is closing in on the landing site. Mobius 1 shot down a target. Locked on. More missiles on radar. Shoot them all down. Mobius 1 destroyed the target. You're in gun range. Mobius 1 shot down a target. Sighted. That's strange. There's only one. The cruise missile is heading south along the glacier. Looks like a regular warhead, but keep your distance.
engage enemy fighters. Concentrate on shooting down the missile. Missed. 60 miles and closing. Locked on. Explosion. Mission complete. The landing forces saw from below, and they extend their thanks. Good job. There was no unnecessary loss of landing troops, and the northern coast is now secure. advanced, the retreating erosion forces from the east filled our town. The AA gun crew set up their positions atop the hospital, and Yellow 13 smoldered with quiet anger over their tactics. Nights were long, with the town's mandatory blackouts. The barkeep's daughter tried to plant laser transmitters for detonating explosives. She got caught. It was Yellow 13. He knew she was responsible for planning the bomb on their runway as well. The face of the enemy whom he hated belonged to someone close to him. Get out of our town, you fascist pig. Those were the words from my mouth. I've never seen his face twist so painfully. Do you hate us that much? We couldn't shake or nod our heads in reply. It seemed like an eternity passed before he said go and released us. The next day there was no change in his attitude. As usual, he made his requests to the squadron crew chief. The poor fuel quality is affecting thrust. As soon as the Allied forces drew near, the resistance would end the blackouts over the city 